Hello, I'm Mira. Today, we will connect the deep abdominal muscles called the transversus abdominis or TVA. You will need a long scarf or towel to assist your practice. So let's begin. We're going to start sitting. You may sit on a chair, on a stool, or you may sit on the floor with your bottom propped up with a cushion or two. Basically come and find a comfortable seat. So moving forward from our breath class in day one, today we're going to take our breath, our diaphragmatic breathing and tap into our deep transverse abdominis muscle. Okay, so let's begin with just breathing. Inhaling, through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Inhaling, we allow the ribcage to expand as much as we can. Exhaling, the ribcage deflates away. And we go. Sitting nice and tall. And the last one. All right, let's grab your scarf. If you are sitting on a chair, sit upright. If you're sitting on the floor, you may cross one leg or you can even have your legs in a diamond position. Now we're gonna tap into our deep abdominal muscle. We're going to do it in four stages. First, reconnecting to the lower part of the abdominal. Secondly, the middle abdominal. Thirdly, the top abdominal. And the fourth one, we're going to combine all the three stages and we're going to contract them at the same time. Okay, so let's grab your scarf and wrap around, around the hip joint. And cross the scarf at front and just gently, gently pull the scarf away. Upright alignment with the spine, no kink in the pathway of your breath. Inhale through the nose. Now as you exhale, feel the lower abdominal drawing in. You may even help yourself with pulling the scuff slightly to give your lower abdominal a little tactile cue to pull away from the scuff. We're going to do it three times in the lower abdominal, three in the middle, three in the top, and then three all together. So we begin, inhale. Exhale. Feel the lower abs drawing in and pulling away the scarf with your arms gently. I'm going to stand up and come closer to you. And we in breath. Let's do one more time here. Inhaling through the ribcage. Feel the lower abdominal pulling away from the scarf. And let it go. Now let's bring the scarf to the middle of the waistline, to the middle of your body, to your waistline. And we'll do that again. Okay, here we go. Inhaling, allow the ribcage to expand. Exhaling. Shh. 
pulling the abdominal away from the scarf if you exhale as much as you can. One more. And we have the scalp around the lower rib cage here. You inhale, you feel the scalp expanding away, feel the rib cage expanding into your scarf. Exhale, you feel the lower, sorry, the upper abdominal drawing in, pulling the, scalp, pulling the rib cage away from the scarf. And we in breath. Exhale, deliberately pull the belly, upper abdominal away, deflating the lower rib cage. Still sitting upright. One more. And let that go. Now we're going to combine all of those three points, bring the scarf around the lower rib cage and cross it front diagonally. So you hit the two end of the scarf around your hip joint. We breathe in. Now as we exhale, feeling the lower abs drawing in, middle abs drawing in, and the upper abdominal drawing in by holding, by keeping your spine nice and tall. Lower abs, middle abs, upper abs, all working together as one unit. Last one. And let it go. Well done. Now we're going to take ourselves onto a supine position. So let's go ahead, line our back. Turn to the side and Lay on your back. We're going to repeat that again. So we start around the hip bones, the lower abdominal. Find the two hip bones and rest your scarf underneath your pelvis, cross at the front. And we breathe in. Bend the knees, have your feet on the floor. We breathe out. Pulling the lower abdominal away from the scarf. And you may even give yourself a little tactile cue by pulling the scarves gently. So you feel the tiny, the tiny up sensation around the lower abdominal. In breath. One more. Let it go. And moving up to the middle. Abdominal around the waistline. We breathe in into the rib cage. Exhale, pulling away. And breathe in. Exhale. Last one.
and the next stitch up around the lower rib cage. In breath. Allow the rib to expand into the rib cage, into the scarf. Allow the scarf to loosen up a little bit. Exhale. Upper abdominal, contracting the rib cage. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Last one. And let it go. Now we're going to combine all of that. Still have the scalp around the lower rib cage and then cross the scalp at front in a diagonal position and bring the two end of the scalp around the lower, around the pelvis area. We in breath. Combining all three levels. As we exhale, drawing up from the lower abdominal, middle abdominal, upper abdominal, tightening up your center and try to keep the spine um, in a stable position, which means that you're not rocking the pelvis or rocking the spine, compressing to the floor. In breath. Exhale. So the sensation that you want to feel is like you're wearing a corset as you breathe out. In breath. So the transverse abdominis act like a corset. It doesn't really bend the spine in any direction. It just wrap the abdominal area, the waistline area, towards the spine, around the spine. Last one. And let it go. Just Lift the scarf along there. I'd like you to take the leg closer to me up to what we call a tabletop. And hopefully the pelvis and the spine stay stable. I'd like you to press your hands against the thigh. So we in breath, going back to the full transverse abdominis, the TVA contraction. I'd like you to breathe out, push your hands against the leg or your thigh and then put a break with your thigh. And we exhale. Hold the thigh, you'll feel that side abdominal contracting, engaging, and release. Exhale, press down, hold the leg, and release. Last one. Well done. Switch with the other leg, bring it up to a tabletop position. And hopefully the pelvis stays stable there. And then pressing your hands against the thigh. In breath. Exhale, we push down with the arms. We hold the thigh there. You're going to feel that deep contraction of the abdominal as you push down. In breath. Exhale. Pulling up the abdominal in. TVA. Engaging down. And last one. And let it go. Okay, roll to your side and let's go to a standing position. We're going to do the whole thing again in a standing position upright. So find a good stance, a good standing position, feet up parallel, lifting your spine nice and tall. Okay, try not to hang back into the position. Find your best posture for the day. Align the pelvis, the rib cage, the neck in a beautiful vertical alignment. Okay, so we start from the lower abdominal, lifting away from the gravity in breath. Exhale. Nice and tall. And try not to slouch as you breathe out. Uh-uh. Stand up tall. 
Imagine you're on a stage and you have audience in front of you up to the third balcony. You got to present yourself there. Yeah, you are. You are on a stage. In breath. Exhale. One more time. And we'll take it higher to the middle. In breath. Exhale. Inhale. Making sure the shoulders are easy. Exhale. Meaning they're not tight and tense up that way. Two more. And we have the rib cage area in breath. Exhale. By now, I hope you find a slight easiness in breathing in and breathing out. Getting used to finding a deeper breath. Inhale and exhale. One more. And we'll combine all of that together. Cross the scalp in front of you. And we go. Punch the arms down to the floor. I really like you to pull away from the gravity. Two more times. Well done. Let it go. Standing nice and tall. Now on your two hands on your hips, drawing all that three stages of the abdominal together as we breathe out in breath and as you exhale rise up and draw in that deep tibia muscle and find your balance inhale we lower the heel down exhale observe how much easier it is to rise onto the ball of your feet using your center your deep deep abdominal Exhale, focus here, in breath, exhale, nice and tall, two more times, last one, observe the strength, right here, and let it go, have your feet slightly wider, have your left arm up to the sky reaching tall and a slight bend over to your right stretching away the side of your body and up other arm in breath and exhale and back again left arm And in breath. And last one. And in breath. And let it go and check it all out. You are done. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos 
focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.